Yep. Okay, so, you know, I came in this morning, um, got here early. You know, a couple people requested to see what that uh, was going to do on the helicoil after we did pull 100 pounds on it. Um, you know, I checked that uh, wrench on the on our tester and it was 103 when it was set at 100 pounds. So basically you can say that the helicoil was 103 um, and then got on that thing first thing this morning and pulled on it. And I mean, I couldn't do it again. It yielded the bolt, you know? And um, so I went to the time cert and I had this thought and you know, after talking to everybody and everything, but I had this thought the thread engagement wasn't that great. As a matter of fact, when I spun the uh, helicoil in, I felt like, um, it wasn't as good as it could be even running the thread former down through it you know it wasn't as hard as it was as I, as I did the block you know um, so anyway uh, with that being said <clears throat> I decided you know to research out and I already done this I already went and made sure that the provided drill bit that comes in the time cert kit was the correct size for 3816. And on the website, it says, I think 397 or something like that. And, you know, with my, just roughly doing it here, you know, I'm 395, 396, right in that area. So, you know, that's good enough. And um, anyway, so what I decided, I went and looked to see what the 3824 um, uh, drill bit was, and it was a 386. You know, so it's a little bit smaller. Of course, uh, you know, the thread's not as deep on a fine thread as is, is a, you know, a deep uh, coarse thread. So um, what I decided to do was I'm, I decided that I was going to, you know, reduce the size of the first drill hole for the tap. So um, <clears throat> I think it's a nine millimeter, I'm not sure, but I have a bunch of drill bits back there. So I found this drill bit and this thing ended up being, um, you know, just a shy under three eighths. So it's like 373 or something like that. Yeah, 373, right in that area. Yeah, it's a big long one, so what? Anyway, but it's, it was a millimeter, so it actually came out right. So anyway, so then um, the only thing I noticed when I first drilled this hole, uh, when I came in to, you know, basically, you know, bore the top of the time cert, you know, so it sits down in the hole. Yeah, it's a bore because it's a cutter. It's not a, it's not a countersink. So anyway, um, I noticed that it was already it was already tight right here in the hole. It did go down in the hole, and but it was tighter, and um, but I did get the the bore in it. Okay, so once I got done with that, um, one of the guys that worked for me here at the shop um, on the race team, he worked in a machine shop, and he says, Rob, uh, if we wanted something a little bit tighter on tap, we wouldn't use oil tap oil or you know bow lube or whatever uh we use wd-40 and i said no kidding he says yeah yeah we do that and it kind of represented maybe just a little bit better of a tap or whatever you want to be so i decided okay well i'm going to just try that anyway so <clears throat> when i tapped the hole already like i mean it went in okay it did have a little bit more resistance you know pulling chips and stuff like that when i got done i brake cleaned it you know like i did all the other stuff you know blew it out brake cleaned it all that I did not apply, you know, anything to the um, to the insert whatsoever, um, Loctite, any of that kind of stuff. Um, oil, nothing. I just put it in dry. I used the thread former, but I also used um, my installer that I had made. <clears throat> Basically, it was something like this on a bolt. You know, it went through like this. And so this screws on here. This locks up against it. And then I screwed that insert down in there and, and seated it real good, like I did in uh, the third attempt on one of these. So after I did that, then I took the thread former, I used the time cert lube to put in down uh, through that puppy. And then what I noticed right away is, is that it had more resistance than it did when I used the provided uh, drill bit size uh, from time cert. So, Anyway, so I went ahead and did that. And um, then I decided to start torquing this thing up. So um, you can watch the video and find out how that went. But I'll tell you this right now, um, you know, I went 70, you know, did, went up through the sequence and fives and stuff like that. Um, I had to change torque wrenches because uh, my other torque wrench, you know, tapped out 
the 3 8 one tapped out at 100 pounds. So I put the half inch in it uh, to her and uh, you know checked it on our torque torque deal and I got up to 123 foot pounds of torque uh, on the time cert on the same you know same size basically if you look at this um, see that right there these these are basically exactly the same size they're between seven and and eight threads so this one looks a little bit taller because it just has the lip on it but actually thread count wise they're damn close and i think this is like a 520 length uh whatever you want to say anyway with that being said and i pulled on that one particular bolt i pulled 123. um again i pulled on the helicoil and i yielded bolts on it it was just over 100 pounds they all started yielding and then um after probably about <clears throat> 10 times on the helicoil it finally it finally let loose and um you know i what i have noticed is as in between um allen's and not necessarily you know i guess it would be manufacturers because i got different ones here or whatever but um this one's a, a yf s you know um it seems to hold, hold up better than some of these other ones but anyway i did notice that some of these yielded differently from from others but Max torque wise, so helicoil, um, basically after 10, 11 attempts or whatever, it did end up failing at 105 and a max torque of 105. So, um, and then the time cert itself, it did go to 123 pounds and it did end up yielding after several attempts. Um, and it did just start to pull it up. But when it was pulling it up, it still had 80 some pounds of, of of torque on it you know and keep in mind you know these these 3 8 uh coarse bolts are designed only for like 38 foot pounds of torque you know so for us to get that kind of torque out of these things you know we're asking a lot so anyway so what is uh fix this time cert deal i'm telling you right now was an undersized drill bit by 20 thousandths and it made that time cert as good or better than a helical there you go so basically here, um, this is the install of the uh, last time cert that I did. Um, again, I used WD-40 to actually, um, you know, tap this cert out. Um, I clean it out with brake clean, blow it out twice um, before I put the insert in it. And then of course I use the uh, time cert uh, fluid to actually run the forming tool through it. Um, you can see here, these are all the ones that I've done um, up to this point. And you can see here, the finally the helicoil did yield. Uh, like again, it had a lot of pulls on it. This here was the first one that I did. Um, and I didn't feel like uh, the tapping of it was that great. And so I went and got a new tap, that a, 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 not a helicoil tap, it was a time cert tap, and installed this one with it it was maybe five pounds better but nothing nothing exceptional this one here is 250 thousandths longer than the 520 right next to it i used green loctite on it i also did uh, use an install tool to put this down in there not just the uh you know the brooch or whatever it is to um finish that thing off with so on this last one I mean, it did. It did a great job. I could feel the difference when I tapped it. I could feel the difference when I put the insert in, the whole nine yards. I put it in dry uh, as far as on the outside of the threads. And I did use um, a tool I made to install it, you know, so that I could lock that thing down uh, and get that shoulder right up against that piece. Uh, 
fucking did 